Hi there, my name is Miriam O'Donoghue and I'm head of lifelong learning in TU Dublin, Tala. And I'm delighted to be here with you today to talk about part-time programmes and our part-time provision in TU Dublin. I'm joined by a number of current and past students along with some faculty. I'm going to ask each of them to introduce themselves to you now. So we'll start with yourself, Sean. Thanks, Miriam. Hi, everyone. My name is Sean O'Reilly. I'm the assistant head of the School of Accounting and Finance in TU Dublin City Campus. And I also manage the postgraduate diploma in financial technology, which is part of our springboard offering. Thanks, Sean. Tom. Hello, everybody. My name is Tom Mulvey. I'm a lecturer in the School of Business on the Blanchardstown campus, a lecturer in the management and strategy subjects. Um, I'm also a member of the Academic Council for the University and a former member of the governing body. I've um, lectured on the part time programmes for many years and uh, now I'm lecturing on the full time programmes. Thanks, Tom. Rosita. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Rosita and I graduated from a springboard course in TU Dublin in Tala campus. Thank you for that. And Gillian. Hi everybody, my name is Gillian, uh, we're from Prendergast, I'm a mum of four and I run a family uh, gastropub in Rath Mines and I've just um, completed the three year professional um, program. Thanks Gillian. And Kieran, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Kieran Brady and I did the MA in Creative Digital Media in UX and Interaction Design with TU Dublin and Springboard. That's great. Thanks, Kieran. So you're all very welcome. And our topic for discussion today is why return to education? So a number of you watching this um, today will be maybe thinking about coming back to education and, and looking at your your opportunities and the possibilities that are available at TU Dublin. Here in TU Dublin, across our three campus sites, Tala, Blanchestown and City Campus, we have a number of education offerings, both um, undergraduate and postgraduate, but also minor awards of 30, 40 credits and some continuous professional development courses as well. Each campus has its own individual offering in each of the disciplines that we cover. I would suggest you have a look at the website for each of the courses that are on offer part time and the detail of those courses. But to tell you a little bit more about their experiences, both from an academic perspective and from a student perspective, we're going to go around the panel now and we're going to have a, a little bit more in depth discussion about what it's like to return to education. So, Sean, I'm going to come to you first and I'm going to ask you how accessible are part time programmes in TU Dublin and particularly Springboard? That's a great question, Miriam. I think they're very accessible. You know, a lot of our students work on a full time basis, and I suppose we've seen a, a large uptake in our part time offerings since COVID. And I suppose COVID would have maybe accelerated our blended learning and online delivery. But we've also seen a lot of people, I suppose, that um, perhaps feel that they need to further their learning and upskill in new areas since COVID ha has come in. and. I say, for, for example, on our postgraduate diploma in fintech, we've seen uh, a huge number of applicants from all sorts of background. And I suppose what, what um, Springboard provides, it's a government funded initiative that allows people upskill, reskill and return to education. If you are working full time, you can still apply for Springboard, which is a fantastic thing. And you have to cover a small percentage of fees. If you're on the return to work payment or you're unemployed at that particular moment, you can uh, avail of that, that uh, initiative free of charge, which again is a fantastic opportunity for a number of people to get back into education. So to answer your question, it's very, very accessible and we are very flexible in our delivery. Thanks for that, Sean. Tom, I'd like to come to you next. Can you tell me a little bit about the nature of the part time programs that run in TU Dublin? Um, how are they how are they delivered? Is there a hands on component in them? Just just anything about what the nature of the programs might look like? Yes, indeed, Miriam, there, there is a very much a hands on approach. The part time students, evening students or whatever, they get the very same access to our laboratories, our studios, our kitchens, our computer rooms, 
as a full time student. So there is a very much a hands on nature. The other thing that the part time students um, will find is that they're actually taught by professionals in their field. So uh, in a lot of cases, some of the lecturers doing the part time programs will be uh, during their day job. Maybe if you're doing accounting and finance, maybe you might have a um, qualified accountant who's practicing all day every day and then in the evening he or she will come in and deliver some of the evening programs so you're getting real life um scenarios from those professionals you'll also find a lot of um, opportunities to network with your peers who are doing the same course as you and you'll also find that the classes are relatively small so you you will um, get a lot of one-to-one uh, -one time perhaps with your with your lectures they aren't huge 400 500 seater theaters in the part time it's a lot smaller and a lot, lot more hands-on from that perspective um You'll also find that, um, you know, by taking these courses, you know, you, your promotion prospects of work will improve dramatically. Your pay will probably improve as well as a result. So there's a lot of pluses, a lot of benefits to considering going back to, to uh, education. That's great. Thank, thanks a million for that, Tom. And I suppose as those of you who are listening to us, you, you've heard from the faculty in TU Dublin, you probably want to hear a little bit about well, what is it really like? So what's the student experience? So uh, from that particular perspective, I'm going to come to Rosita first. And Rosita, I'm going to ask you, I know you were a Springboard student with us um, some time ago. So I'm going to ask you a little bit about what was it like to be a Springboard student? And in particular, uh, what was it like with, with coming back to, to study in TU Dublin? Thanks, Miriam. Um, so I suppose um, I decided to go back to studying um, because studying was something that I always wanted to do. I never got to do it when I was a bit younger. So obviously Springboard being uh, an offering that is available now, and as Sean said, it is available to everybody uh, either employed or unemployed. And that is a great opportunity, I thought. Um, I'm, I'm working full time at the moment. And I mean, being able to manage that working full time and doing a springboard course um, was a great was a great op op option to do it. Um, the reason I done digital marketing in particular, I done digital marketing course was that something that I was always interested in, and I always wanted to look more deeper into the area. And um, I suppose an option you have to either sign up for you know three or four year degree, but I think springboard is. Is a great course I call it as a taster course because it covers a wide variety of modules. It gives you a good understanding of what digital marketing is, of, of, of what it um, what it entails, and then it gives you an option to decide do you want to continue further. At the same time, Springboard, um, again, you know, you can't beat it, it's it's 90 or 100 percent funded. So it's it's a great, it's a great um option as well. Um and I suppose going back as a mature student, you know, it's always it's always difficult at the start. You never know how is it going to how is it going to be, how is it going to work out. But I have to say that I really really enjoyed it. I really um, find the time spent in TU Dublin was was great. The lectures were all very good, very supportive. I suppose when you're when you're doing it through Springboard lectures, also understand that a lot of people are coming from that background where. They might have been out of education for a number of years, so I have to say their support was really, really good. And uh, and we, I know I met some lovely people as well in the group, and they're all in the same boat. And, um, and we all truly enjoy the course. Yeah, that's great, Rosita. Thanks, thanks a million for that and for that insight into Springboard and and being a part time student. And um, I'm going to come now to to Gillian. Gillian, um. You did a slightly different course and and maybe your experience we, we'd love to hear about your experience because i know it wasn't through springboard so it, it might have been slightly different so over to you okay yeah slightly different for me i actually decided to um go back to upskill educate myself and it was a, a very much a professional and personal journey so i didn't have the um facility of springboard so i actually saved all the fees myself um i wanted pretty much to have the one day released to, for me and nobody else. And I didn't want any obstacles from family or work. So it was very much a personal journey in that respect. Um, but I decided to go back to further education, um, really to upskill in culinary arts and to learn how to become a, a professional chef. Um, I run a family pub with my dad 
and I realised that we weren't running our um, kitchen efficiently. The operation was too small. The space wasn't compliant with the HSE. So you can imagine um, the EHO visiting us twice a year, and it was it was very difficult to be honest with you. And you, you I do respect the whole system, and I'm I'm very grateful now that I am upskilled in HACCP as well, which is fundamental to running a kitchen. Um, I decided to talk to Mike Connor three years ago, um, given now you've got to bear in mind I had four young children. My youngest was four. Um, so it was it was a big decision, but I did feel I could do this. Now talking to Mike, it was fantastic. We realized that there was a one day release um, spread over three years. Now you, each year you did walk away with the certificate. So if you decided after a year that you just couldn't commit anymore, you did achieve something. And, you know, a lot of students did leave after first year or second year um, and a, a good number continued on to do the three years which is fantastic and the years do fly by to be fair um, I mean it's only really 24 weeks out of 52 so we talk about a year we're not we really have to really look at the amount of weeks that you are committing to um, the one day three it was basically the one day release was the best fit for me I thought that I could give that full day and then the commitment after was putting your head down and getting your work done during that week, which was quite important. It was it was very important not to leave the workload build up. So I did find that I had to be quite mature in my outlook towards the whole thing. But I think paying for it myself was probably the best thing to do because I took it very seriously. Um, it was an absolutely fantastic course. The, the lecturers were amazing. All they wanted was for us to all pass and succeed. We all got on great as a team. We were split into groups. We all got, we mixed very well. There was a good mix of foreign students and Irish students, all different ages. I think I was the oldest. I think I was called the oldest by one of the the uh, lecturers as a joke. But um, it, no, it was fantastic. I'm so proud of myself. I would highly recommend it to anyone that is in a business and kind of caught with where do we go with this business. Now I feel I own the kitchen. I own the operation of the kitchen. And I'm really proud of how we've achieved our, our journey. And that's it for me. Thank you. Oh, that's great. Thanks a million. Thanks a million for that, Gillian. Um, it's it's great. It's great to hear that um, you had a, a we'll say that you had a good journey through your education and that you found your the skills, you know, really, really useful and were able to apply them straight away. Karen, could you tell us a little bit about your student experience, please? We've heard a little bit from the others, but you did a postgraduate program. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about how your experience of that. Yeah, gladly. Um, I had a great experience. I love my time at TU Dublin. Uh, I was a bit apprehensive about going back to do a postgraduate course um, as I'd done an undergraduate course in filmmaking and this master's was focused on UX and interaction design. And although filmmaking was in creative digital media, there were a lot of skills that I didn't feel like maybe possessed at the start of the postgraduate, but all the lectures really made me feel at home and I suppose helped me get on board at the start of those first few weeks. And um, yeah, I really felt like within the postgraduate, all the other people on the course wanted to help and we were all in it together. Um, TU Dublin was definitely a very welcoming place for me on the postgraduate in terms of everything I learned and everything that was available to me, whether it be student services, the counselling services or the national learning uh, that was available to everyone there too. And um, the course for me, I took that on because I was really looking to improve my skills, but also transition into a new area, maybe of employment. And um, I felt like I'd reached a, a glass ceiling where I was and I wanted to push myself and kind of push myself for years to come. And this course really felt like the best opportunity to do that. And um, my experience as a student was quite intense, I will say, on this master's. Uh, very enjoyable and a lot of support, but don't get me wrong, there was a lot of work involved, um, but it was all really enjoyable work and you could see how it was adding to your portfolio and how you were becoming more employable as you went through the course. Um, and I think the course is a, uh, was a testament to that because I got an internship before I'd finished the master's in a fortune six company and then have since gone on to change career completely based on what I learned on the master's and being able to secure employment that otherwise I wouldn't have been able to do before the, the master's and before studying at TU Dublin. That's great, Kieran. Thanks very much for that. 
I suppose what I'd like to do next is we're coming towards the end of this session. I'd like to go back to each of you again and just ask you if you could give one take home message to anybody watching this today. What would it be? Anybody considering coming back to education? What's the one thing that you would say to them um, as a piece of advice or encouragement? So I'm going to go to you first, Sean. No problem, Miriam, I suppose. I would say that they should listen to Gillian because she sold it very, very well there and it really emphasizes the, the importance of education, how, you know, going back can, can benefit you greatly. Uh, for me, I, I'm a big believer in lifelong learning. I have yet to hear anybody say that they regret returning to education or, or re regret undertaking a course. It's a great opportunity to step out of your comfort zone and develop yourself further, but also to meet new people, network uh, and make make new friends. I suppose that the reason a lot of our students undertook the postgraduate diploma in fintech was to better their career prospects uh, further their knowledge in a very new and cutting edge area in financial services and the reason we were able to do that is because we provide such a flexible offering where most of our students in fact actually work full time uh, and we have a huge number of programs across you know a wide range of topics and specialisms across all the three campuses in Blanchardstown city campus and Tala and I would recommend it uh, greatly. Um, so my advice as well would be just to check out the, the TU Dublin website and Springboard and, and, and to reach out to some of the, the staff members or programme chairs if they have any questions about undertaking a course with us. That's great. Thanks very much, Sean. Tom, what would you have to say as a, as a take home message to anybody listening? I'd say for anyone listening um, to consider the fact that um, generally speaking, the majority of our part time courses, when you complete two years successfully, you'll exit with a level six qualification. So if you can just manage even two years of it, you'll exit with a full level six qualification, a higher certificate, it's often called. If you can complete three years successfully, you're going to exit with a level seven qualification, which is a degree, a level seven degree. If you just uh, complete the three years successfully and if you stick it out for four years, you have a, a level eight honours degree exiting, which is a wonderful uh, lifelong gift, if you like, and there uh, will be really benefit to you in your career and personally as well. So that'd be my take home gift. Thanks very much, Tom. Rosita, what about yourself? What would be your take home message? Um, thanks, Miriam. I would say to anyone, especially considering springboard programmes, I would say absolutely go for it because it's a great initiative. It's an absolutely government supported initiative that um, that people can avail and as I said, I'm working full time. So even if you are working full time and you are thinking maybe to either upskill or reskill, I would say absolutely go for it. Most of the courses are a year long. Next year you're going to be a year older, but you could have your springboard certificate or diploma with you as well. So I would encourage all and everyone. Thanks, Marianne. Ah, uh, thanks very much, Rosita. That's that's great to hear. Gillian, what would your takeaway me for anybody listening today? Um, OK, so basically understand it's, it is a commitment both personally and professionally, but this is about you as an individual, not about your job. It, it is something that you will achieve for yourself. Um, look at the content. Know there will be exams and assessments, so know what you're getting into beforehand because then there will be, there will be no surprises and no shocks. And that is something I, I did and I, I also looked at the modules and I understood modules that I was going to enjoy and ones that I was actually exempt from and ones that I knew that I would find difficult. But lecturers are there to help you. Your teammates, your, your, your classmates are there to help you to talk, ask for help. Don't sit in the corner being shy or quiet. There's no need. People are there to support you. Everybody wants to pass together. Um, Definitely give time weekly after your day release. Definitely give time weekly to commit to fulfilling your portfolio and projects and assessments. Otherwise, it'll build up and you will, you will stress. It's not worth it. Just give yourself time weekly. It is one day release, but there is a commitment during that week to keep on top of, of, of all your workload. Enjoy the journey. It flies by and you'll be very proud when you've achieved it. Thank you. Karen. If you could give one take home message to anybody who's watching this um, today that's thinking of becoming a part time student, either funded by themselves or funded by Springboard, what would be that message or what would be the one thing you would say to them? I would say absolutely go for it. Um, it will be the one of the most rewarding things that you'll do. 
Um, it won't be easy at times, but I think anything that's, you know, the reason it's not easy, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Um, in regards to I did my course through Springboard, it definitely gave me skills that extended into life, not just in terms of future employment, but in terms of research um, and just learning about myself and pushing myself and going the extra mile and getting that feedback and seeing how I could improve all around. That's great. Thanks very much for that, Kieran. Great take home messages there about planning, about take the first step. You just go for it and see how you get on. It, that's all it takes is one step. And I suppose from TU Dublin perspective, we're here to support you on that particular journey as well. So um, all that's left for me to do is to say if you're interested in any of our programs, please check out our website. All the details are there. Feel free to reach out to any of the program chairs um, or anybody that you feel might be able to help you in lifelong learning, either by phone or by email. We're happy to help you in any way we can in that decision making process. Thank you to the members of the panel today. Thank you to Sean and Tom and Rosita and Gillian for, for inputting all of your thoughts and experience into this short discussion about why return to education. So thanks very much, everybody, and goodbye.